Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own theme, so your own corporate theme. So what I'm going to do is create a report. So let's create a report based on this table. So I'll just click on this one, it automatically creates a report. So there's a report sitting there. What you have in the themes area, so I'm on report layout, and this is layout view. In the themes area, you've got these default themes. So what, when you hover over these themes, these are ones I've created. You can see some of the things are changing the font um, and then some of them are a bit more drastic like that one. And then if you come down this list, you've got the office ones, the default ones that come with office. Now that is the one that you click on to get yourself back to the original. So that's a default theme. So what I want to do is create my own theme and show you how you how you would do that. So you've got in the themes area colors and fonts. So you can drop that down. You've got a whole array of different color schemes that you can select for your report or, th or form. Now, if I click on this one, that's the one I, I did. That I've saved as a theme. And if I just delete that one, because it's um, pretty gross, to be honest. So I'll just right click on that and delete it. Yes, and then put that back to the office theme, which is this one, and then show you how I did that from scratch. So basically, you go down to custom, customize colors, and then you've got this box that comes up on the screen, and two preview areas. And now I'm going to be a bit drastic with this. So this is text, background, dark. What color is the text? Um, let's have a look at that. If I met that that color so you saw you see that disappear there so I put it back to a dark color automatic that came through and if I do this one if I change that to orange you see and that's changing on that blue background there so I'll put that back to white or whatever it was on and then this one let's change this one to see what happens I'll put that to that color now that's gone like that so then you'd have to play around with the, the text again so that's not too bad actually then these accents are to do with these what you might put in any shapes or charts like this this one so the first one's blue if I change that to red so if I do a chart the first one's going to be red and you can see the the shape if I draw a box or anything like that it's going to have that sort of shape there now if I um, change this second color to dark blue you can see how that's moving across if I change this one to a different color you can see what, how that affects different things so it's affecting that area so let's just go for this so this isn't great but I'm trying to make it a bit garish so you can see the impact of it if I change that to Steve now I might already have one called Steve save okay so that is a catastrophic mistake I've made there so what I need to go back into that and pick the default back to the default okay so the colors I did on that one, so if I drop that down, you can see Steve there. So if I edit that, if I go back into it and edit that, that is not great at all. So what I'm going to do is just change some of this back. So I'll go and then put, the, put this to a darker color, a lighter color, should I say. And then that one to a darker color. So I can see it, this one to a darker color. Yeah, put that one to white. Um, white so you can see that so this color I, I want that to be darker than that okay and then that color there the first one I'll change that to orange so no nope, not orange that's not good I'll keep it dark all right so let's see what this one looks like so I'll save this again all right it's not not great but you can also I'm going to save the theme this is part of the process to save the theme font is next so that's the font i've chosen if i click on that um that's changed that to if I go to format so you can see it so it's changed it to tahoma which is what i want and go back to this now if you want to save this theme so the colors that i've picked is steve and the font i've picked is that one you can save this theme by going into themes and save current theme and I'll call that test because I don't think I've got one called test. I have. Let's call it Steve 
23. Definitely won't have one called Steve 23. So that's Steve 23. Now if I close this down, I'll save that. Yeah, okay. And then create another, another report. So just create this straightforward report. Same theme. If I put this to back to the default office theme, this one, that's back to the default office. And then my the one I saved um, should be in this database. Now I've got quite a lot here, but one of them's called Steve23. That's that horrible one, orange. That's not it. You'd think it'd sit at the, uh, the end, but basically you just have to find the one that you, that you just did. And as always, it's probably the last one I'll click on. Steve23, that's it there. There's a preview, so that's applied that theme. So every report that I do now, if I create another report, if I do it on this table, report, it has the same theme. If I create a form, let's just do a, a, a quick form, that should have the same theme. So if I go into format, for example, it's on the font, it's on to home, and the color scheme is what I've set. So that's change the theme. I'll just close that down. Close that down. Don't save any of those. And close that down. Okay. Now, if you, um, if I go into this one for a second, if I go into um, either layout view or design view, is where you can see the theme. So I'll go into layout view, and then you need to be on report layout design. If you want to delete any of these themes, you can just right click in this box and delete, and then you can get rid of those. But make sure you're not deleting the one that you want. So theme one, these are all different themes. So that, that one there, for example, gradient, let's just get rid of that, delete. So some of these would have been made in PowerPoint. It's gone into the same place. But that's just a quick video of how you can change themes. So that's all I want to talk about this little video. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.